right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 17th of May, and uh, next week we've got another tasting at Cafe Max we're here to promote tonight. And uh, this is our Cabernet Sauvignon tasting from California. And immediate gratification is what comes to mind when I think of California Cabernet Sauvignon. Everyone likes immediate gratification, and everyone likes these tastings at Cafe Max. For only 35 bucks, man, you get eight uh, great wines and a couple of courses from Master Chef Oliver Saucing Company in the kitchen at Cafe Max. That is the best deal you will get, uh, well, pretty much anywhere in town. And hey, I'm here to tell you about uh, Neighborhood Nights, which is back at Cafe Max. They've got a special menu, which is like three courses for like 35, 40 bucks, which is incredible. It'll be on the end of this email as well. So uh, I don't believe that promotion is available with any other promotions, but check it out. Oliver always puts together an incredible menu for this Neighborhood Nights promotion he does over the summer months. All right, well, this tasting tonight, we've got a new uh, a new supplier in town, Adavina, Adrian Chinsky. She, uh, well, I worked with her when I was at National Distributing Company years ago, but she's been in the business a long time, and she has amassed an incredible portfolio of small boutique producers from, uh, well, most of them from California, Napa Valley. Tonight, most of the juice is uh, from Napa, and that is uh, Eden if you're a California Cabernet grapevine. And, uh, well, there's a few things from Northern California. We've got this Tuck Beckstoffer project, which uh, Andy Beckstoffer, one of the largest growers in Napa Valley, and uh, this is a project he had uh, up in uh, Mendocino, and then I think he's blending grapes from Napa, Mendocino, Sonoma. He's got vineyards all over California. So uh, these uh, Sum 75, the Amulet wines, excellent values, excellent entry-level Cabernets. You're going to see the price on Cabernet Sauvignon going up over the next couple years. Uh, many people have been in the store over the last six months talking about how short the harvest was in 2011 and a lot of people even short in 2010 so uh, what does that mean supply and demand folks supply goes down demand goes up price has got nowhere to go but up we've got a lot of thirsty people in this country but hey don't worry there are still some great deals out there now so this is a good time to stock up you've got some excellent vintages out we've got 2007 vintage wines on the table from Gamble Family. These guys are huge landowners in Napa, and uh, they only use a small amount of their fruit, the best fruit for their wines. These Gamble Family wines, well, you may have known them under another name, Origin Napa or Source Napa. Uh, not a good idea to change your name several times, but these guys had to do it because of uh, various uh, people that, uh, well, had already copyrighted those names. So uh, Gamble is now the new name. Uh, same wines, outstanding juice. 2007 vintage there. We got 2008 Husek, 2008, another great vintage, 2007. 2008 back to back stunning vintages from Napa and a great supply so uh, the price is fairly reasonable for these estate bottled wines Husic Palm Terrace this is all the juice that doesn't go into their top $100 wine so for half the price you definitely not get half the wine they're outstanding juice and then a little 2006 vintage on the table a little older release show you guys what happens after the wine sits in the bottle for a couple of years the Sodaro and uh, some great stuff here check it out on today's email this is what we're doing next Wednesday night at Cafe Max. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.